हे गाइस वेलकम टू द न्यूज सीरीज दैट वी आर लॉन्चिंग ऑन द चैनल वेर यू विल बी गेटिंग ऑल द न्यूज एंड अपडेट्स फ्रॉम द टेक वर्ल्ड सो लेट्स जंप स्ट्रेट इनटू इट स्टार्टिंग विद द स्टेटमेंट बाय सुंदर पिचाई Alphabet and Google CEO Sundar Pichai has said that the current global macroeconomic conditions will severely affect tech sector. The world is going through acute supply chain issues and raw material shortage owing to the Russia Ukraine war, China lockdowns, high inflation and interest rate hikes, resulting in big tech stocks nose diving. Moving on, Apple iPhone development schedule delayed by China COVID lockdowns. Apple Incorporation has told to speed up iPhone developments after China's strict COVID-19 lockdowns hampered scheduled for at least one of the new phones. Apple's last month forecast bigger problems as COVID-19 lockdown snarled production and demand in China, with the war in Ukraine adding to the iPhone maker's woes. In the worst case scenario, Apple expects the manufacturing schedule and initial production volumes of the new phones to be hurt. Moving on to the number 3, Instagram announces 1 minute music track for real stories in India. Instagram on Thursday announced 1 minute music tracks that bring a collection of songs and videos that can be used in making reels and stories on the platform. The Meta owned app has claimed that this latest 1 minute music track collection comprises music from over 200 Indian musicians. Included Dhwani Bhanushali, Neeti Mohan, Shan, Himanshi Khurana, Anirudh and Jeevi Prakash Kumar. The music collection is going to make Instagram content more entertaining and will inspire other artists to release their 1 minute music videos on the platform according to the company. Moving on. Britain launches another probe into Google's ad practices. Britain's competition regulator on Thursday launched its second probe into the advertising practices on Google, saying the Alphabet owned search giant could be distorting competition and may have illegally favored its own services. The Competition and Markets Authority (CMA) latest probe follows into the Google and Facebook owners Meta's Jedi Blue agreement earlier this year. Governments around the world are strengthening the regulation of US tech giants that have become even more powerful during the COVID-19 pandemic. There are multiple investigations globally into the market positions including the United States and European Union. Moving on to number 5. Sony wants half of the PlayStation games on PC and mobile by 2025. At its annual investors meeting, Sony says that it plans to bring half of its PlayStation titles to PC and mobile by 2025. In 2022, Sony plans to release a quarter of its IPs for PCs and mobiles, while the rest will constitute new titles coming to PlayStation. As of now, only 10% of the IPs are available for mobile. and as per the company's plan it should reach 20% in the next 3 years jim ryan president sony interactive entertainment said that expanding the company's portfolio to pc mobile and live services will allow the company to move away from the narrow segment of the gaming market to being omnipresent in the entire gaming scene moving on beware hackers are using this trick to hijack your whatsapp account There's reportedly a new WhatsApp scam doing the rounds. Rahul Chasi, founder of cloudsec.com has highlighted a new OTP fraud that he claims is being used to hijack WhatsApp users accounts. According to Chasi, cyber criminals are using a simple trick to take over WhatsApp accounts. In a Twitter post, Chasi detailed how the scam works. The hacker calls the victims and convinces him her to dial a 10 digit number. Once the victim dials any of these numbers they get logged out from their WhatsApp accounts and the attacker gets complete control over it. If you wonder how then read the link in the description. Moving on to number 7. Elon Musk revises Twitter financing plan, shares jump. Tesla CEO Elon Musk revised the financing plan for his proposed 44 billion dollar purchase of Twitter, raising investors hopes that the unpredictable billionaire still intends to pull off a deal. Royal by market turbulence and Musk's not entirely explicable concerns about the number of fake accounts on Twitter. The news overshadowed Twitter's regularly scheduled annual shareholders meeting earlier. Shareholders didn't address the Musk deal directly that vote will be scheduled for an as yet undetermined future date should the deal proceed. Twitter shares jumped 5.5% to $39.22 in after market trading. building on a 3.9% rise during regular trading. 
and the last but not least broadcom is acquiring vmware for 61 billion dollars broadcom is acquiring vmware in a 61 billion dollars cash and a stock deal it's one of the biggest tech acquisitions ever behind dell's 67 billion dollars emc deal and microsoft spending acquisition of activision blizzard for 68.7 billion dollars broadcom is known for its chip business designing and manufacturing semiconductors for modems wifi and bluetooth chips across multiple devices this giant acquisition of vmware is designed to boost broadcom's software business so this is all for this weekend if you like this series subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from us have a great rest of your weekend